Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome to Compton Farm, episode number 13. Today is all about grass work and mowing. We got four fields to mow, including one massive one. Hopefully, our worker is going to do that for us. And we're going to be using the Samaz Windrow on the front of this tire to hopefully fill this loading wagon all the way to the top. It holds a lot. I mean, a lot. So, if your loading wagon holds a lot as well, or you just want to see more farm sim in general, make sure you're subscribed. That way, you never miss future content here on the channel. Our day today starts with not grass work, but with eggs. And we've got a total of uh, one and a half pallets. That's all we got. Fortunately for us, it's been, I think, only two days in game, something like that. It is November. Just a heads up, I think it was August the last time we saw this. Yeah, it took us a few days. So we're going to be taking our eggs and we're going to be going to the general store bay number one. This is giving us the most amount of money just by a few bucks, but the most amount of money indeed here. So check this out. If you go in, you go seasonal fluctuation. Sorry, it's early in the morning for me recording and my mouth doesn't work yet. November is giving us our highest peak. Well, it's November. So let's go get these sold and hopefully in the meantime i can wake up on the way there i don't expect to get a ton of money for these i mean it's only about two thousand liters worth of eggs but this is going to be good because it kind of starts off our money making time we've gone almost two years now we almost started making money and then an update came out and unfortunately we had to stop doing our gameplay because of that well the good thing for us is we're back we're ready to go. We've got a ton of stuff to sell as well. If you guys are following along, tomorrow in game, at least, uh, in December. Ooh, let's not go over that. I don't know if I can sell eggs there or not. Uh, tomorrow in game, we're going to be getting a lot. We're going to be selling wheat. We're going to be selling the barley. We're going to be selling the oats. We're going to be selling the canola. We're not selling eggs? No, we are. We are selling the eggs. Okay. Money's going up, so that's good. Uh and we're also going to be selling straw tomorrow as well. We have a lot of bells that we're going to make even more. All right. There it is. $5,100 in the bank. So I think if I'm not mistaken, at least for this series, that is the first money we've actually made because we're not using any cheats on here. We're not using any hacks. I'm not taking the loan and making it 0% interest so that I could just take out whatever loan that I want. I don't have any money mods in. Yeah, we're going fast, but eh, this stuff takes a while. I'd rather just get it done quicker. Still do the work, right? Right? Before we get started with mowing, I did want to show you guys this. We have been busy. Very, very busy. So we've got everything kind of moved around, doing its thing. Actually, we've got a bunch of honey pallets over here, and I'm worried that they're going to be taking up a little extra space. Let's pick these up real quick. I should be able to pick them up, no problem with this. Turn it on, do to do loading fill type, Euro. And we'll come through here. Yeah, it's giving me the option to pick these up. Boop, 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 boop. Got them. Ah, oh, now I got them. All right, let's take these to the side. So we've got a bunch of honey on here. I think this holds 31,000 liters, which is pretty darn good, but we don't need... 31,000 liters. We've got 2,800 right here. We're, we're, we're doing okay. Also, we don't want to leave these on here, so we will boop them off. But I don't need that anymore, so we're just going to leave that sitting there. What I need is to show you how much wool we've got. Yes, sir! Check this out! <laughs> we got plenty of wool, man! Uh, I don't know. I think this is 32 and then some more, and they're 1,000 liters each. Yeah, we're going to make plenty of money on wool. Actually, ooh, real quick, I want to know. All right, so now's not the time. I think it's in May. Yeah, we're in May. We're in November here. Prices are low. We're going to be making a lot of money, baby. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's time to get to work. Let's get rid of the help window. We don't need that anymore. Let's get this done. What are we doing today, at least mowing-wise? Well, pretty simple. We're going to be doing 35 right here. I'm going to do the field south of that. We're going to do the field west of that right there, the secret field in Woods, And then I'm going to come hire a worker on field 25. I have decided that the end goal is to be able to get field 5. So I'm going to trade 
Field 25 for field number five. Field number five is closest to us. It's on the same road. I don't have to bring anything over. And if I decide to not use a, a grass in it for whatever reason, if I want to do, you know, canola right here, which we're going to be harvesting the next time around, that's going to be easy. Plus, straight. Hire worker. Be done with it. Nice and easy. Good to go. Cool. Let's get these unfolded. Let's get them dropped down. Set my worker on a nice little spot right here. I say worker. I'm going to do this myself. And then rock and roll. Oh, we should probably make sure. Working speed, 22. Good. Talk of working mode. I don't... I don't know what the working mode's on. Swat dropping. Perfect. Turn it on. Turn it on. And let's go. And about 30 minutes real life later, we are almost done. I'm at least done with what I personally have to do. But we've still got to go to the largest one. Field 25 and hire a worker on it. It's going to take a hot minute. But just wanted to show you what we've accomplished since we've been off screen. So we've got all three of the fields done here. I forgot there were three fields here that I needed to do not just two plus we just uh, came from the secret field in the woods now i do know a lot of you guys have been talking about this area up here saying dj there's also a secret field right above the store this is true i mean kind of uh let, let's take a look at it real quick so if i go over here and we select grass okay showing up just fine we deselect it it's not actually showing as a field i could jump over here real quick and at least show it to you it's very easy to get to and you can come over here mow this and then plow it up and plant grass or make it a free field whatever you guys want to do with it i'm probably not going to be doing that however you can if you want to i mean it's owned land and there's quite a bit of it over here so just check it out if you guys are looking for free land free area check it out it's a little bit far away from my farm that I really want to be going to, even though field 25 is pretty much exactly the same distance. Uh, I won't say that out loud if you won't. <laughs> so we've gotten all that done. I did mention it in a previous episode, and I'm sure some of you guys will notice. I did not mow the uh, sheep field, nor did I mow the cow field, even though those are technically fields. I think they both even have field numbers on them. Well, because we've got animals in those, I'm not going to be mowing them. I don't know if that's Realistic, not realistic, whatever, but I'm not going to be mowing those fields just because the animals are in there. I did the same thing in Farming Simulator 19 and 17 as well. Once we got animals in a pen, I usually did not mow that pen anymore. So I don't even think there's fertilizer in there. I did switch all that. So good to go there. Now we've got to head over to the largest field that we've got, field 25. I think this is going to be too much. I mean, we're getting three harvests, three grass harvests per year. And I don't think that we need to get three harvests off of this field every year. I mean, we could probably make some silage bells or something to sell them at the BGA. That's probably going to be plenty. Woo! This is a big old grass field, man. I'm kind of losing myself right here. All right. Let's drop it down. Dude, leave me alone. I these front mowers do not like me. I tell you what. All right. So what I got to do is I've got to run our head lens. They're going to be a little bit different than the way that I normally do them because I don't want to waste a bunch of time. Whereas normally I tend to waste time running head lens. Uh, I'm going to try and behave this time around. I don't know. We'll find out and see what happens. Well, I would say we've done pretty good over here. Hey, that didn't show anything, did it? <laughs> Man, it is still too early. It's the morning after the Super Bowl, and I'm in a food coma still. Yes, sir. All right, let's line this up. I'm going to try and offset it just a little bit, because if we come in here, we can see uh, it, it does go over just a little bit. So we're trying to line this up, see if I can get to 90 degrees. About right there is good. Hire worker, and they're going to do their little thing right here. Hopefully they don't miss too much. All right. And off they go. I'm going to have to clean up a little bit on the other side whenever they get to the end. I don't think they're going to miss any on this side of the field. No, nope. but we are going to have this little, you know, the little triangle area on the other side. I will have to do that. But then I can just hire this guy back on a worker and be done with it. Because as soon as I do that, we get to go pick all of this up. Yay! And I bet you're curious, how much does the loading wagon that I have hold? 
Well, why don't we find out? One million. It, uh, <laughs> it holds one million liters. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. All right. I got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do all this. All right, got to drop down. We need to turn some lights on. Let's cut the F1 menu on just so I can double check and see what I'm doing. All right, so that's how that works. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and turn on our loading wagon. Uh, and we'll figure out if this is going to work or if I need to go faster, slower, what's going to happen here. So I've taken the base game uh, Pottinger. So if we go in, we go to tools, we go down to loading wagons, forge wagons here. I've just taken the base game one, so nothing too crazy here. And if I slide down a little bit, uh, we should find it in the DJ Go Ham pack. Here we go, DJ Go Ham modded tools right here. Literally exactly the same, just holds one million liters. I figured that'd be easiest. I needed a loading wagon that this trailer could pull, or this tractor rather could pull, but I wasn't quite sure exactly which one I was gonna use. Also, I'm not sure if this is gonna pick up everything in turns. But I guess the answer to that question is 100% no. All right, well, uh, this is still working pretty well nonetheless. Doesn't seem to be missing much, if anything, even at quick speeds. So that's good. Uh, just in the turns. All right, so note to self, don't turn with this piece of equipment. Hey, the good thing is it's still windrowing it all together so I can still come back through and get it all but this is definitely something that you guys need to invest in this thing of course i'm going super super fast but I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what this is it's the samaz windrow if i'm correct yeah the samaz twist 600 there's no customization to it whatsoever it just kind of is what it is and it, it's for all platforms which is incredible goes on the front of your tractor and it, you could you put a baler behind it a loading wagon whatever you need to do and it picks it all up. <laughs> I've also heard that there's another modder that's supposed to be bringing something together. Uh, Hispano modding. Something like we've got in, uh, uh, what is it, on the, the front of those big mowers? so Or big uh, balers, rather. So that's kind of cool. Uh, one thing I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of this stuff from the outside of the uh, field. That way I don't have to do it later. This is good. Plus, one cool thing, our mower here, he's doing a great job. He is missing a little bit here and there, uh, as you could tell. But we'll we'll come through and we'll fix that. But at least for now, I'm going to try and go through and see how much of this I could pick up. I don't want to bother you guys with just going back and forth in the fields like this. Because we've got other stuff to do today. Stuff that I want to do. But this still is pretty cool piece of candy. So I've been running this thing for, I don't know, two or three minutes now, something like that, and it is epic. Dude! So the, the loading wagon, there's nothing special about it. All it does is holds more, that's it, and doesn't weigh a bunch whenever you put a bunch on it. But this front piece, man, this Samaz is killing it. Look at this. Look at all the way over the side. It doesn't matter. No matter how fast I go, it doesn't care. Uh, the baler that we've got, you got to be careful because the baler can only pick up so much at a time. I'm probably going to have to modify that baler just so it'll pick up more quicker. But this thing? No! No, sir! This is epic! I'm going to tell you, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't sit around all day doing this. Oh, missed some. Uh, I can't sit around all day doing this. It's going to take me forever. So I am going to have to go ahead and lease or do something with the... Uh, uh, rapid the wind row. Uh, we're gonna use that to get the rest of this done. Fortunately for us, uh, because <laughs> well, I started recording this before doing a mod news day, so I'll record generally for like an hour to an hour and a half before getting work done, and then I'll turn around. Let's see. We'll go ahead and oh, we gotta turn that off first, huh? Raise it, and then fold it. Possibly. There we go. Yes. Uh, so I normally record these videos in early morning before doing any of the other stuff. Uh, so I normally would just let this sit while I'm doing farm some news. So like this guy's already done. Yeah, it's just it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, it's gorgeous, by the way. This area, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that! That's awesome! I still think I'm gonna do silage bells. 
I'm, I'm still kind of back and forth on all that. As far as the one field around here, by the way, yeah, that was the only field that I picked up. We got 181,000 liters of grass off of that. So that's pretty good. What I've decided is that of everything we pick up, 40% will be set to silage. 40% will be made as hay. So we'll do a half and half there. And then the remaining 20% will be kept. And we're going to use that for just grass, for feeding the sheep and things like that. As a matter of fact, I could probably go ahead and feed them now, but we'll, we'll do that later. I'm gonna, we'll feed, we'll feed everybody right when we need to. So here's what I'm gonna do to make my life a little bit easier because I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be here all day. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna be here all day. It's supposed to be fun, it's not supposed to be work. I don't wanna do it. There's a lot to do. So I'm gonna take the loading wagon here. We're gonna dump it. And then I'm gonna go lease the big one. I know you guys like to see that one. We haven't used it a lot, at least on the on screen. Let's empty this and see how it looks and how fast it dumps. All right, so that's gonna take a while. While we're at it, let's go in here to Forge Wagons. Let's find ourselves a handy dandy this. There we go. We'll throw, uh, let's see, it's a 1 million liter or I think 10? 10? 10 million liter? Yeah, so we'll just do the 10 million. We'll do a trailer board. We'll set up a cool windrow system. Absolutely. Since we are using the Massey, I say that we go full blackout mode. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. And then rims, we'll go with a uh, black there as well. That is looking fresh. Uh, it is going to cost us a little bit of cash to lease it, though. $7,700. And I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go back on that. If it costs money to use it, we're going to... We're going to have to pay. Yeah. I did buy this Pottinger, by the way. Kind of excited about this thing. Let's back it up and have a little bit of fun in the video today. How's about that? <laughs> I got so excited I dropped my weight. <laughs> oh, that's way funnier than it should have been. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I think before I had said that we needed to fertilize the grass fields. I don't think that's going to happen today. Not... Not with the amount of time that we've got. Also, we gotta figure out exactly what we're gonna do with the grass for field 25. Ooh, this is heavy. Oh, this is a lot heavier than it was in Farming Simulator 19. I should probably go in and modify the weight a little bit of this thing, because that's, it is quite heavy. Um, yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that, because I think there's probably gonna be about two million liters of grass on that field. I don't know for sure. I'm just ballparking. I'm sure most of you guys would have good or better guesses than I do, but I think there's going to be a lot of grass on that field. So we got to figure out what are we going to do with it? Are we going to do loose grass? Are we going to bale it up? Are we going to do it in this episode? We're going to do it in the next episode. Are we going to go like this again? Wee, 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 wee. Why did I lower the front way? <laughs> no one does that. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. Uh, so yeah, I got to figure out exactly what we're going to do with all of that again there's a ton of it i think maybe the best thing to do would be to make some silage bells and then try and sell those but even silage because silage bells are pretty simple to make the thing is whenever we get in and we start looking at silage it just like everything else has price fluctuations so we can't just let it sell throughout the year because it's gonna take a while i guess i could go in and modify the bga Unfortunately, I gotta tell you, I don't know how to do that yet. I've been messing around with the code, but I still haven't got it all figured out. So we don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, we'll have to get it all sorted and figured out definitely because there's a lot going on up there. Whatever we do, we need to make sure we're making money. So that's that's kind of the, the big thing there. I think with three harvests per year, these grass fields in this area... I think these are going to be totally fine for us with the bonus being 25. So maybe now go with me here. Uh, just listen to this one. Maybe we don't always do grass. Now it is kind of nice having your largest field not have to be planted every, you know, three, four months. Cause obviously we're going to be getting quite a few extra harvests out of fields, but I don't know. Like I said, there's, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot going on we're doing pretty well we're one day away from i would guess over a million dollars coming in only one day away 
and I'm pretty pumped about it because we're gonna get a lot of cash. But I wonder how many gra how much how, how many? You know, we should probably just go to the outro because this whole episode's just been me trying to figure out how to say words. Let's let's just put me out of my misery. How about that? Well, guys, that is it for this very interesting and different take on DJ recording a video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna try not to do it again. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham Fam channel members. Videos like this come out early for channel members, usually about one day in advance. So. That's pretty cool. Also, if you guys haven't checked out some of the videos I've been doing lately, we got a couple map tours out, some more early mod videos, so definitely check those out. Otherwise, I hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you later. Peace.